Hello and welcome to Bank Exams today. Friends, today I welcome you all to the session of linear and quadratic equations. This topic is very much easy and very much scoring. You can easily score three to five marks easily within a fraction of seconds or within seconds. You know, depending upon how you know accurate your approach is. If your approach is, if your if your concept is good, if your approach is accurate, you can easily solve these questions within lesser time and you can get more marks. Okay, so we'll learn about this topic and what are what are the exact what is the exact approach to solve these questions and what are the tricks that we can use. So we'll learn about those things. Before moving on to the topic, I would like to tell you that we have launched a special batch for IBPS RRB scale to GBO and which will contain video classes for films and mains exams and complete study material will be provided in PDF format. So how will you get access to all of this? Whenever a student purchases this batch, he or she will get login ID and using those credentials, that login ID and password using those credentials, they can log into our website and they can get access to all of this material I know via the dashboard, the dashboard will be available there and through which they can access and get access to our material. And apart from that desktop site, one mobile app will also be allowed to use that same login ID. So they can get access to all this metadata on one mobile app also using that same login ID. In short, per login ID or per student, two devices are allowed. Okay. So apart from these two features that I've mentioned right now, test series will also be provided, which will contain 10 full length tests and chapter wise tests will also be there so that you can easily find out what are the topics that are that you are lagging in right now. What are the topics that needs that needs to be improved, right? And a systematic study plan will also be provided so as to optimize your performance, so as to optimize your preparation, you know, in lesser time, more uh, more accurate preparation. And interview preparation guidance will also be there. So those who will clear the mains exam will be eligible to get interview preparation guidance. Okay. And apart from this all. You can also use this coupon code LK10. Using this coupon code, you can avail 10% of discount. So what are you waiting for? Hurry up, avail this offer. Okay, now let's get back to the topic. The topic is linear and quadratic equations. So first we should know about what exactly is an equation. Look, the first and very basic term is expression. First and very basic term is expression. Expression is what? If if there are two variables, two or three variables, three variables, or say four variables, x, y, z, and w. If you can write one variable in the terms of in the terms of two or three other variables like x square plus z plus w. So this is called expression, where z, w, and x, these are independent variables. Whereas y is dependent variable, it depends upon the values of x, z, and w. Okay. And when an expression is written in the form of only single variable, expression containing single variable, expression containing single variable, so what it will be? It will be a polynomial. For example, x cube plus x square plus 2. What is degree of polynomial? It is maximum power of the variable in a polynomial. Maximum power of variable. That is called degree of the polynomial. If degree of a polynomial is 2, that is called quadratic polynomial. If degree is 2, like here, if we take example x cube plus x square plus 2, so the, here degree will be 3 because highest power is 3. But if a polynomial of degree 2 is written, for example, x square plus, uh, you can say uh, 5x plus 6, so this is a polynomial of degree 2. This is called a quadratic polynomial.
now if this quadratic polynomial if this quadratic polynomial is equated to zero this is called an equation equated to zero it may be equated to zero it may be equated to two three four whatever it is the constant term it, it depends upon the questioner's mind right x square so we are supposing uh, we are just taking example of zero x square plus 5x plus 6 is, is equated to zero so it is a called equation since it is a quadratic polynomial so it will be called a quadratic equation okay so quadratic equation means if you want to solve this equation if you want to solve this equation you need to find out the values of x the values of x for which or which will satisfy the equation which will satisfy the equation then you are finding the roots of the equation how can you find it you can use factorization method the old method which we have learned in 8th or 9th we will learn about factorization, uh, factorization later let's, let me just tell you about what is quadratic equation and what is linear equation so this is linear equation so if, if there is a quadratic equation if you will solve it the quadratic equation you will get two roots in key, two solutions of the equation because the high, the degree of the equation is two so you will get two solutions means two roots okay and if the equation is written like this x plus six so the degree of the polynomial here is one so this is called linear polynomial and if it is equated to zero this is called linear equation so linear equation will have how many solutions only one because degree is one here clear okay now let's learn about how to factorize how to solve a quadratic equation how to factorize it we have taken the example x square plus 5x plus 6 is equals to 0 compare it with ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 this is the general equation for quadratic equation so what we need to do is multiply c by a okay and factorize in such forms factorize it in let's say alpha and beta okay so what these should be this alpha and beta should be kept in such a way that if alpha plus beta should be equal to b okay alpha plus beta should be equal to b and alpha into beta should be equal to c clear means i have multiplied 6 by 1 a is the coefficient of x square so 6 by 1 that is 6 i factorize it in the form of 2 and 3 2 into 3 is 6 only factors of 6 are 2 and 3 now if you add 2 and 3 you will get 5 that is equal to b and if you multiply 2 and 3 you will get 6 that is equal to c okay in this way you can factorize it now use that use those factors x square plus 2x 5x can be written as 2x plus 3x plus 6 is equals to 0 now take x common so first x is taken common then x multiplied by in brackets x plus 2 plus 3 common in brackets x plus 2 now take x plus 2 common so x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 3 should be equal to 0 it means either x plus 2 is 0 or x plus 3 is 0 because one of the terms need to be 0 that that uh, then only their product can be 0 so if x plus 2 is 0 x will equal be x will be equal to minus 2 and x plus 3 is equals to 0 then x will be equal to minus 3 so what we saw here we have taken the factors 2 and 3 okay and we are getting the roots as minus 2 and minus 3 means the signs are opposite the signs of the roots are the opposite are opposite as of the factors that we had taken before right 
So let's just devise a simple shortcut. How you can do that? x square plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. If you need to solve this equation, what you need to do is 6 into 1. This ax square plus bx plus c. Compare it with 0. Okay. Compare it with the above equation. c is 6, a is 1. 6 into 1. Now factorize it 2 and 3. Okay. 2 plus 3 is 5. 2 into 3 is 6. Okay. Now the first step will be divide those factors by coefficient of x square. So coefficient of x square that means a. In this case it is 1 only. So it will be 2 and 3. And then next step will be change the signs. Change the signs. So 2 will be minus 2 these will be changed. 2 will be minus 2 and 3 will be written as minus 3. So this is your answer. The roots of the equation are roots of the equation are minus 2 and minus 3. I hope you get it. Okay. So by this method, by using this method, you can solve the quadratic equation. You can find out the roots. Okay, so if questions are given like this, in, in exams, the question will be given like this, two, two, two quadratic equation will be given and obviously if a quadratic equation in the form of x variable is given, so x will have two roots, let's say alpha and beta. Okay, and second quadratic equation using the y variable, then y will also have two roots, say c or d. Now you need to find out if x is greater than y or less than y or greater than equal to y or less than equal to y and if x is equal to y and no relation can be obtained. You need to find out one of, uh, one of these five sorry, these five options. So what we'll do, we'll compare one by one. Alpha and c, com we'll compare alpha and c, then alpha and d, then beta and c, then beta and d. And then we can find out if x is greater than y or if x is less than y, if x is greater than or equal to y or if x is less than or equal to y. Clear? So before starting the questions, let me just introduce one more, one more simple concept to you. The concept is if signs of coefficient of x and similarly the sign of coefficient of y okay if it is given sign of coefficient of x is plus and also the coefficient of y is also plus then the roots will have signs that is minus and minus. Both the signs, uh, sign of both the roots will be in negative. Similarly, if it is plus and minus, sign of roots will be negative and positive. One one root will be negative and one root uh, one root will be positive. Similarly, negative and positive will lead to positive and positive. And negative and negative will lead to positive and negative. I would suggest not to use, you know, use uh, choose this by heart. Just use two or three results here that if, if both the equations, that is the variable of x, uh, that is the equation containing x variable and the second equation containing y variable, if the, both the equations have their c have their c means constant term as negative then surely there will be only one solution that is there will be only one answer that is no relation can be identified okay 
we don't uh, we don't use this uh, use this equation uh, use these tricks find concepts by heart we just use one or two results of it okay so let's just try to solve this question how will we solve this question it is given 5x square minus 16x plus 12 so 5 multiplied by 12 that is 60 okay now factorize it factorize it 5 into 4 into 3 5 into 4 into 3 or you can say 5 into 2 into 2 into 3 so 5 into 2 10 2 into 3 6 10 into 6 60 you will get you if you multiply 10 into 6 it will get 60 and if you use minus 10 on minus 6 you will get <clears throat> you will get 16 so use minus 10 minus 6 instead because if you multiply you will get 60 only and if you simply add those you will get minus 16 so these two factors are fitting your criteria that by multiplying you should get ca and by adding or subtracting you should get b so minus 10 and minus 6 we'll take minus 10 and minus 6 only now the second step will be minus 10 and minus 6 will be divided by 5 okay and third step will be change, uh, change the sign 10 over 5 and 6 over 5 okay so the roots of x are roots of x are 10 over 5 and 6 over 5 similarly <clears throat> solve the y form uh, y variable equation 5 into 4 20 and you can also use this minus 5 and minus 4 as roots because minus 5 minus 4 will lead to minus 9 and minus 5 into minus 4 multiplied will give it uh, will give the result 20 so our criteria is being satisfied here so we'll use minus 5 and minus 4 minus 5 and minus 4 okay now <clears throat> minus 5 divided by 4 and minus 4 divided by 4 now change the sign that is 5 over 4 and 4 over 4 you can find out the solution now 10 over 5 that is 2 and 6 over 5 is 1.2 similarly these are the values of x and values of y's are values of y are 5 divided by 4 that is 1.25 and 1 now 1 by 1 compare the values of x with those of y 2 is greater than 2.5 sorry 2 is greater than 1.25 2 is greater than 1 also and similarly 1.20 is less than 1.25 so we are getting two signs this and this also hence no relation can be established if in a question you are getting two two signs two simultaneous signs then there will be no relation can be established okay e option is the answer Okay, just come to another question. 15 into 4, 15 into 4, that is 60. Okay, and similarly, 50, minus 15 plus 4, 15 into minus 4, that is minus 60. So we can use minus 15 and 4. So minus 15 into 4 will be minus 60, and minus 15 plus 4 will be minus 11. So 15, minus 15, and 4. And what will be the next step? Just reverse the sign. 15 over 15 and minus 4 over 15. Final answer is 1 and minus 4 over 15. So these are the values of x. And now come to y. 10 into minus 5. That is minus 15. And similarly, we can use 10 plus minus 5. That will come out to be 5 only. Okay. So we can use 10 and minus 5, divide by 10. Next step, change the signs. Now minus 1 and half, that is 
but now one is one is greater than minus one one is greater than 0.5 minus 4.15 that is less than one and in negative lesser terms are greater okay so it will be greater than minus one but minus 4 and 4 by 15 should be less than minus 0.5 okay so what we are getting here again no relation can be established because we are getting two signs and we, I, let me tell you one shortcut i just told you that if if the equation containing x variable will also uh, the, does also have the constant as negative and the second equation will also have the constant as negative then there is one result only one and only one result that is relationship can be cannot be established if both the constants are having negative coefficient if both the coefficient if the, both the constants are negative sorry constant will have no coefficient if both the constants are negative then there is only one one answer that is relationship cannot be established next question 13x square minus 29x plus 16. So multiply 13 into 16. 13 into 16. So this, the same numbers, the same numbers can be used as factors. Minus 13 and minus 16 can be used. Because minus 13 into minus 16, you will get it. Uh, the result of it is equivalent to 13 into 16. So you will get the same result. And minus 13 and minus 16, when added, we'll get the result minus 29. So our criteria is being fulfilled here. So we'll take the factors as minus 13 and minus 16. Divide by 13, divide by 13. And what is the next step? <coughs> Change the signs. So that is 13 over 13 and 16 over 13. And one more thing. Now the other equation. 6y square minus 11y plus 5 is equals to 0. So 5 into 6, same numbers can be used, minus 5 and minus 6. When added, will get us minus 11 and when multiplied, will get us 30. That is equivalent to 5 and 5 multiplied by 6. This also gives us 30. So we'll use <coughs> minus 5 and minus 6. Minus 5 and minus 6 divided by 6 because a has coefficient that is 6. And the next step will be change the signs 5 over 6 and 6 over 6. Now you can also use one trick here. Instead of you know uh, dividing these 5 5 by 6 and 16 by 13, just you know cross multiply them. Like multiply both the roots of x by 6. 13 into 6, 78, 16 into 6, 96. And multiply both the roots of by by 13 65 and 678 now you can easily find out that which one is greater 78 is greater than 65 78 is equal to 78 96 is greater than 65 and 96 is also greater than 78 so we are getting x is greater than or equal to y we are getting two signs so x is greater than or equal to y Okay, this is your answer. Okay, let's move on to the next one. X is under root of 189. So under root of 189, there are two answers for this. Plus 17 or minus 17. Both, uh, both numbers, if get squared, they will result to 289 only. Okay, so whenever a square root is given, so you will get two roots, positive 17 and negative 17. And what about the second equation? Y minus 1 whole square is equal to 256. Taking square root of both sides, so Y minus 1 will be equal to plus 16 and Y minus 1 will be equal to minus 16 also. So Y minus, so first equation will lead to 16 plus 1 17 and second equation will lead to minus 16 plus 1 that is negative 15. 
so now y is greater than x okay 17 and minus 17 and the other one 17 and minus 17 so 17 is greater than 17 17 is greater than minus 17 also minus 15 is less than 17 okay so here relationship cannot be established okay one more trip trick that you can use whenever both the equations have square root in them then also only one result is possible that relationship cannot be established okay so we'll keep it to this this much only okay i have uh, i hope you have understood up to this and you have noted down the concepts okay in the next class we'll learn some more tricks also okay uh, and we'll solve some questions further till then take care bye bye and if you like this video please share this and please like this video and comment down below if you have any doubt that will be resolved okay okay so meet in the next video